Hey, what's going on guys? Today Apple released iOS 12.1.4, the long awaited fix to the FaceTime issue. So even being such a small update with one major fix in sight, it still took Apple quite some time to release this. So iOS 12.1.4 was a pretty small update for my iPhone XS before updating. On 12.0, I had 53.3 available. After, as you can see, basically Harmony restored, nothing added or uh, deleted barely. But let's go ahead and cover everything that's changed, kind of give you the scope of the landscape because it is shifting, the jailbreak does change that. So let's give you a little refresher on what's going on right now. So yes, this release does fix group FaceTime. It will work perfectly. Now Apple has restored the servers so long as you are on iOS 12.1.4. If you're on an earlier firmware, group FaceTime will no longer work for you. And that's why the jailbreak is so crucial here because the only way to restore that functionality, even temporarily, will be to jailbreak. So if you guys don't want to update, you're either stuck with a jailbreak or on a device that doesn't work with group FaceTime anymore. So just be aware of what's going on with that. Otherwise, I wasn't able to really find any changes. Still feels the same. I was 12.1.3 to 0.4, you know, it's a small update. So I wouldn't really expect anything big. Now, if you guys are waiting on the jailbreak, let's talk about that for a moment. If you're on iOS 12.1.2 or below, then yes, you can jailbreak. So as long as it's 12.0 to 12.1.2, you guys are lucky, you're gonna be able to do cool stuff like this very soon. The only thing I ask of you guys is to be respectful to wait. Jake James is working very diligently to release the next portion of the iOS 12 jailbreak for the 10s Max. The A12 and the A8 devices are next in line. And then of course, we're gonna be getting a proper bundled installer. Now, it's not necessarily confirmed, It'll even be Cydia, so that may change. But the jailbreak is happening, guys. It's so exciting. It's it's exciting when a jailbreak gets released on something so current, so recent. I think that's gonna be a very, very fun experience, so we'll see. And with everyone's ingenious creativity nowadays, we're gonna be seeing some really cool tweaks for the latest firmwares. All right, guys, so there it is. I was 12.1.4 in a nutshell. I just wanna run a Geekbench really quick, see if anything has changed, but I highly doubt that it has. I'm still excited, though. Every single time we see a release, you know, Apple is working on things, cooking things up and I was 12.2 man that's gonna be a good one and guys real quick this is gonna sound stupid but I need your input on this so today I'm releasing a completely different type of video something funny something I've never tried before so do I commit to it fully and shave my head because it is sort of a parody and Apple's releasing this new product and I have to be Johnny Ive I don't know it's it's a thought if you guys want me to or do you think that's crazy let me know and would you look at that pretty much no difference from my 10r on iOS 12.2 so looking good there iOS 12.1.4 nothing wrong with it definitely update to it if you want to be using the latest group time features but uh, on my iPhone I'm gonna be holding off on 12.1.2 guys I'm so excited we're gonna be able to customize every single little nook and cranny of the iPhone it's gonna be perfect and I'm so so excited mostly control center tweaks the dark mode stuff oh man man it's just gonna be ingenious and watch we're gonna beat Apple to the punch with iOS 12 they're gonna take so many features from this jailbreak and add it like they always do but anyways guys there it is iOS 12.1.4 so pretty notable update I mean, it does fix one of the biggest issues and bugs on an iPhone ever. So it is pretty crucial. Definitely do update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the one later today. Let me know about that odd question down below. Peace.